Hi, it's Kim, and today what I'm going to do is just show you a short little deadheading video. I know deadheading is simple, but if you're a new gardener, you may not be real familiar. I've got an old video that I can reference up here in the corner about deadheading balloon flowers, and I've had a few comments on that video about how people said uh, that they'd read to deadhead but didn't know how to do it. So we're going to just go through and deadhead this plant. Now it's a little bit past where it should have been deadheaded because you can see there are a lot of spent blossoms. But for instance, right here, there's just a few left on this one and we're going to cut it way down deep. And then those small sprouts that are coming up right there, they'll have new blossoms at the end of it. So basically, we're just going to do the same thing. Real close in for the stem, this particular plant is what I called a salvia black and blue. It's real intense blue flowers as you can see. And the hummingbirds love this plant. So I'm just going to go around and I'm going to pop off the spent blossoms some of these you can see I'll be cutting off some of the good blossoms. I think I'll leave those. I think the hummers will be really interested in that. Now if you do take off a set of leaves, that's no problem because the leaves will just grow up around the little joints that are left over. Okay, I did bring a little basket out here to put the blossoms in. Okay, now we can see where this one's very dried up. We'll just snip real quickly and get a lot of this deadheaded. Okay, let me get in to this. This is a new blossom. You can see it's shortly to bloom out. So we're just leaving those and getting the ones that have spent the rest of their time. Just go right back down. Okay, let's look around. I'm going to leave him. This one looks dried up. And I think he could use a freshening all the way back to there. Now over here, I think these are both gone. This has a real sharp scent of, sh of sage here that's a new one those are all new ones coming in but these will just pop them off and then I'll probably give it a good watering it's dry out here starting to get chilly overnight and this has got a lot of blooming left in it so if we just keep it deadheaded, and for me in my zone, this will die out at the end of summer. I can't save it unless somehow I could bring it in and I just don't have the ability to bring this kind of stuff in. So let's take a look over it and see if we see any more that need to come off. I think I've got it all the way around. That looks pretty good. And we'll just give him a little bit of water to perk him up and then he'll be good to go. But that looks good. Now this will perk him right up. He'll be all ready to feed the hummingbirds through the later part of the evening and in the morning sunshine. But if you want to see hummingbirds flock around, this salvia black and blue is the perfect plant for that. <laughs> 